Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to be covering Pancake Swap version 3, the most popular DEX on the Binance Smart Chain. So let's get started. Hey everyone, Crypto Dad here, and today we're diving into the world of decentralized exchanges with a step by step tutorial on how to use PancakeSwap version 3. PancakeSwap is the most popular DEX on the Binance Smart Chain, and with the release of version 3, there are some exciting new features and improvements to explore. I'm going to take you through the basics. I'll show you how to get your wallet set up and configured to access the Binance Smart Chain. I'll show you how to connect your wallet to the PancakeSwap DEX website. I'm also going to show you how to fund your wallet by making a withdrawal from your exchange using the proper network, that is the Binance Smart Chain. And then I'll show you how to make some basic swaps using their trading features. I'm here to guide you through your crypto journey, but as always, do your own research and stay safe out there. Now, let's get started using PancakeSwap version 3. All right, so I'm here on the PancakeSwap website. I'll put a link to this down in the description below. They've just released version 3, so why don't we check out what some of the new improvements are before we get started. So I'll put a link to this article down in the description below so that you can learn more about all of the features that have been implemented in version 3. But for basic trades, the important thing to remember is that there's going to be lower trading fees. They're doing this by making the engine smarter and providing lower fees for people that are trading more higher volume trading pairs. So just remember, basically, you're going to get lower trading fees. And there's a lot of improvements in the liquidity pools and the farming as well that you can look into if you read this article. So like I said, I'm going to cover the basics today. Uh, we want to get a wallet that's configured to use the Binance Smart Chain if we're going to get it connected to PancakeSwap. So as I mentioned, I'm going to cover the basics. So you have this great trading site here that you can connect using your wallet and make trades without having to go through a whole bunch of uh, accounts set up and giving them all your personal information. All you really need is a wallet to connect and you can start trading right away. So the first thing you'll need to do is get your wallet configured for Binance Smart Chain. So I'm gonna be using MetaMask today. We'll go ahead and get our MetaMask wallet fired up. If you don't know how to use MetaMask, I've got a great tutorial on how to get MetaMask set up and running on your computer. As you can see here, I've got MetaMask configured for the Ethereum chain. MetaMask supports multiple networks. As you can see here, I've got uh, multiple networks configured uh, like Avalanche and Polygon. So let me show you how to get the Binance Smart Chain configured. It's really easy now. All you have to do is go up here to this account icon, pull it down and go down to settings. And then go over to networks. And what you wanna do is add a network. So just click that button. And notice here that they have Binance Smart Chain in their default list makes it really easy. You don't have to put in all the network settings manually anymore. Just click this add button and then it shows you all of the proper settings for the Binance Smart Chain. All you have to do is click approve and now you've got the Binance Smart Chain configured in your MetaMask wallet. They even offer you the option of switching over to the Binance Smart Chain and there you go. You've got the Binance Smart Chain configured. Notice that I already have a balance here in my wallet, but I'm also going to show you how to fund this wallet from an exchange. So stay tuned for that. The next thing we'll want to do is get our wallet connected to the PancakeSwap page, right? So all we need to do is go over to PancakeSwap, make sure that you're already running MetaMask and that it's on the correct network, of course. We'll just click connect wallet. And then there are some other wallets that you can use. I'm going to focus on MetaMask. I think it's uh, one of the easiest and most flexible and powerful wallets that you can use. I'll click MetaMask. And then it automatically connects using the Binance Smart Chain and the wallet address. No. By doing that prep work, it saves you the hassle of having to figure out you know, the right network settings. So um, go ahead, get 
about BNB Chain configured in your MetaMask. Make sure that you have the wallet active that you want to use and just hit that connect button and you're good to go. So you'll notice that I already have a balance in my wallet of BNB token, but I'm going to show you how to fund the wallet from an exchange. Now I'm going to use BNB token because in the case of a Binance Smart Chain wallet, the BNB token is used for paying your gas fees. So you're always going to want to maintain a balance of BNB in your wallet to cover all your trading fees and transfer fees. And of course, the BNB token can be swapped for just about anything. So it's a good base token to get yourself started. I'm going to uh, use Binance US. You can also use Binance proper if you want to. Uh, I'll leave it to you to buy some BNB token. It's pretty easy. But once you have some BNB token in your account, you're just going to need to withdraw it to your own wallet. So uh, just go over to these three dots here and choose withdraw. And you're going to get this screen here. I'm going to use the max amount that's in my account here. But if you have a lot of BNB in your account, I would suggest doing a small test transfer first to make sure everything's going to work the way you expect it. Now we need the proper network. I mentioned this earlier. The default here is the beacon chain. We don't want to use the BEP2 chain. We want to use the Binance Smart Chain. So all you have to do is click this pull down menu and switch over to BEP20 or Binance Smart Chain. Now that you've got the right network configured, all we need to do is get the address of the wallet. So we can go over to our MetaMask wallet and just click up here at the top to copy the address of the wallet into our clipboard. Let's go back over to our exchange, paste in that address, and now we've got everything that we need to make our withdrawal. Let's go ahead and click Preview Withdrawal here. It's going to give us a breakdown of our withdrawal. Notice the fee is very small here. We'll go ahead and click Confirm Withdrawal. And I'm going to need my two-factor authentication to make my withdrawal. All right, and after you put in the two-factor, your withdrawal will be pending. Now, they're going to send you an email confirmation. So you'll need to run check your email. All right, so just open up that email in a separate tab of your browser. It's usually what I like to do. Uh, click the Confirm Withdrawal, and it'll just take you right back to the Binance website and uh, tell you that you've uh, successfully submitted your withdrawal order. I'll just click over here. It'll take me right back, and then I can see my Binance wallet and see that I have zero available now and uh, 0.3 on the uh, going out. Right. If we click here, we can see a breakdown of all of our trades and transfers. And uh, you can see I have a BNB pending transfer out. All right. So uh, those are the steps to making a proper withdrawal to go into your Binance Smart Chain wallet. And as you can see, the assets have already arrived. All right. Now that we've got our wallet funded, let's go over to the PancakeSwap website. We've got everything connected. So let's go over here to trade and let's do a little test trade. Now, uh, at the top is the coin that you have that you're willing to swap. And on the bottom here is the coin that you want. So you can uh, click here in this field and type in an amount if you want to. You've also got these buttons here if you want to use percentages of your uh, total holdings of a particular coin. Uh, let's do 50% of the BNB tokens that I have in my wallet. It's going to calculate how much cake tokens that you'll get. Now I've got cake tokens queued up right here, but you can click here and pull down and see that there are lots of different tokens that you can trade for on the Binance Smart Chain. You can even search for a token if you're interested, right? And it'll pull up the token that you're looking for. Always be very careful when you're importing tokens. Uh, do your research uh, on CoinGecko or CoinMarketCap to make sure that you have the proper token that you intend to trade, right? 
We'll go ahead and trade for cake tokens here. Notice that our trading fee is very small. We've got everything queued up here. Well, let's just hit swap. It's going to give us an overview of the trade or swap. We'll click confirm swap. And then MetaMask is going to pop up, right? We need to confirm what we're doing within our wallet, right? Uh, this is being traded directly out of our wallet. So we'll confirm in MetaMask. And then if you don't have cake tokens in your wallet yet, you can just click this button here to add the cake token to your MetaMask wallet. So if you click here, MetaMask will pull up. And of course, I'm getting a warning because I've already got the token in my wallet. But if you haven't added the token that you're trading for yet, this is a very convenient way to add it to your MetaMask wallet. I'll go ahead and cancel here. And you can see here that my cake balance is now higher. So you can look at your balances within uh, the pancake swap interface once you've got your wallet connected. And then you can go over to your MetaMask wallet and then just confirm that everything's accurate, right? So there's my uh, BNB balance now, and I can scroll down here to my uh, cake tokens and see that my cake token balance has been updated as well. So that's really it. That's all you have to do to make quick and easy trades using PancakeSwap. All you have to do is connect your wallet to the PancakeSwap website, fund your wallet with a token, preferably BNB, to make things easier, and then do a, a quick trade or swap using the trading interface. Now, there are a lot of other features that you can access on PancakeSwap. I wanted to keep it short and sweet today so that you could get started trading. I'll do some follow-up videos that'll talk about some of the more advanced features of the PancakeSwap website. If you have any questions about anything that I did today, throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.